Hey guys, it's Paul, and welcome back to another Minecraft survival video. So today we're hitting up part 39 of the series. First things first, joke of the day. Alright, should be enough. If you need more time, pause the video, and we're gonna go. So, today we will be hitting up the nether again, because the nether update has happened, and it's exciting, and everyone's dying to see it. I'm sure you've all seen it by now, because this is kind of a late video, but, uh... I'll quickly go over the basics. So there's four new biomes. There's a, what is it? Two forests, a basalt delta, and the nether, and the uh, soul sand valley. And there's also a few new mobs like striders and piglins and all that, and should be it. And so anyway, so I built this bridge the other side of the lake. Now I guess I, I ended up loading this chunk somehow. Because this chunk is still nether waste, because any chunk you've already loaded from a previous version is, is the nether waste biome, because there's no nether gold here. But, if we go further this way, I found something cool I think we should explore today. Um, I found a... oh, my shield's almost broken. I can make another one, though. I found a um, another fortress in a basalt delta over here. Now, basalt deltas have a ton of new blocks I'm excited to build with. So... That's what that is. If I can actually get over here. Without falling into a pit. Okay. Should be fine now. So basically the idea behind a basal delta it's, is it's where a, um, a volcano just erupted. It has a few new blocks. Like, well, it's obviously got, as you can probably guess, it's got basalt, which is this stuff. And we're just going to be spending a lot of time here today. I found another fortress here, which we can uh, explore. Nothing new to explore in the fortress itself, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to be getting new blocks. We're going to be exploring the new area. Hopefully, I'm going to... I'm hoping to find at least two new biomes. I've only found... I haven't found any others past this one yet. But, two new biomes. We can build some kind of new nether area if we want. Or whatever. What we could decide. Comment your suggestions in the comments, as usual, if you want to see, like, what kind of build you want to see another fort. You want to see another portal upgrade in terms of what's around it. I can move the portal. That's not difficult. Okay. So, yes. This is blackstone. This is actually, a, it's, it's basically cobblestone, but it spawns in the nether. I'm pretty sure it has all the same properties, like blast resistance. Um, oh, that's lava. Um... Got, oh, lava is kind of annoying in these biomes just because it's everywhere. I'm just going to clog this up. It's the same as cobblestone because you can make stone tools out of it. You can... You can... I think you can make furnaces? I don't have a crafting table, though I guess I can make one. Just trying to think of what else it does. It's obviously... It looks actually... It looks wicked cool as a block on its own. And you can make polished versions, stairs, bricks, polished stairs, cracked bricks. Basically every variation you can think of is makeable in this, in this, uh, in this, with this block. Just had a thought, because I was asking last episode if I, sh if I should remodel the, uh, the brewing rooms and stuff, and we could remodel it with these blocks if you want, because I'm using the old nether brick and, uh, diorite, but if you want to see blackstone or basalt or, um, any of the new woods we can get from the nether, hopefully I'm going to find a few of them today, uh, I'll be happy to switch them out, that's something I'm definitely open to. It's actually good you can use this for cobblestone, because I might need to make more pickaxes. These are kind of almost broken. Also, this is a biome with a lot, a lot of magma cubes, which is kind of good, because those are hard to find, and the only way you can get fire resistance potions, so... Alright, so let's get around this fortress here. How am I supposed to get... Uh, I guess we have to go up and over it. I don't think going around is really an option. Exhibit A, there's a magma cube for you. I don't... Know where it is, but I know it's here. <gasps> no, do not die. Do not die. Oh, that jump is close. I don't think the weather skeleton followed me. Oh, it can't fit, right? It's too tall. Okay, nice. It look, almost looks like it's snowing here. Like, look at this. 
Another cool thing is you can see how kind of the ambient effects in the background are certain colors. Like in this biome, it's gray. I think in the Crimson Forest, it's red or like a burgundy red. In the Warped, it's green. And in the Solson Valley, it's blue, I'm pretty sure. Just something cool. So that's how you tell what biome you're officially in. And in the nether waste, it's just the normal crimson color. Which is funny. Well, I guess crimson is, for, I don't know, for the crimson forest. But anyway, how do we get up there without dying? I don't want to risk digging straight up because it's super dangerous in the nether. In the overworld, I'll, like, I can live with digging the risk of digging straight up, but not in the nether. Well, these guys are too tall to come out here, okay. You're a blaze spawner. Okay. Oh, I thought he just dropped a wither skeleton skull for a minute. Okay. So you can see fortresses look pretty much the same as they always did. They don't look... I mean, except for the new ambient effects with, like, the snow, what it looks like and things. Ooh. Gold. Okay. Oh, I, I, oh down That could be useful, actually. There's a blaze spawner, which I don't really care about. <gasps> okay, almost walked into that. That would not have been good. Oh, there's another gold ore we can mine. I forgot about that. I even said it earlier, and I still forgot. Oh, there's a blaze spawner right there. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. Don't feel too, too comfortable. How do we get to the other side of the stupid biome? I don't... Okay, um... Yeah, we're, in, we're, in, we're in another nether waste. You can see this is they call the nether waste biome which is not a waste at all because there's so much there's a lot the sorry most the biome with the most nether gold is this one so what oh i don't have gold armor i'm such an idiot okay i need to block myself in uh the wall oh this guy's gonna kill me no 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 no, no. okay i killed him yes because you can actually trade with those guys if you have Gold and you need to be wearing gold armor though. Okay, I need to do this. Okay. Pray I don't encounter lava. Okay, nice. Oh, I'm, no, I need more gold. Do I have enough? I think I have enough. Hold on. Yeah, you need. Oh, just barely. I think. I think boots are sufficient. I think boots are sufficient. Well, I actually had good iron boots, too. Okay, well, that's fine. We should be okay now. I don't think the piglins will attack me anymore. There's also the, what are they called? The hoglins or the zoglins or something weird. They're kind of like big hogs that... Um, they, they drop pork, but they drop a lot of pork, but they're also very strong. Okay, I just don't want to be near these blazes. Okay. Oh, Soul Sand Valley right there. Okay, let's head to that one. It's trying the new biome exploration trail. Because actually, I would like to pick up... I think this is called Soul Soil, if I'm not mistaken. This stuff right here, which I'm... Did I get some? Or is that just another rack? Yeah, Soul Soil. Okay. Sweet. I'm afraid to dig up, because if there's lava, then... Uh... I don't want to burn this pickaxe out. I mean, I guess I can make another one out of blackstone, which I guess I can prove right now. So, blackstone. You can make blackstone slabs, but if you have sticks, which I don't, you can make blackstone into stone tools. So, I'm going to save... Can you mine nether gold with a stone pickaxe? I don't really want to find out the hard way. So, we basically have infinite access to... Uh, I swear, the way, is this not a soul sand valley right here? Or is this just teasing me? I'm afraid to dig straight up, but I'm just going to have to do it anyway, I guess. 95. We should be nearing a new biome by now. Also, the nether kind of has new levels now. Like, there's different levels of... Usually the same... Like, every level is usually occupied by the same biome everywhere, but there can be two sort of... Like, in the overworld, there's only one main level, which is at sea level, or just slightly above it or below it. But in this one, in the nether now, I think there's two or three... 
And we should be getting close to the next one, unless we're in some random... Unless we hit bedrock, which is entirely possible. And if it does, it'd be kind of suck, because I don't see any good way out of here. Also, I forgot to mention, there's a new ore called Netherite. And it's the now the more, most coveted ore in the game. Even better than diamonds, because it... What is it? It makes... Oh, bedrock. Wonderful. Okay, so... We're really at 128? Okay, yeah, we are. Okay, so... Um, that's wonderful. Okay, so there is not another layer here. I thought there was, but I guess... Oh, that's why you don't dig down in the nether. Okay, but I have died digging... <gasps> No, it's fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. We can do this. We can do this. Oh my god. Pickaxes are too fast in the nether. Oh, I might still die here, but at least we have a chance of surviving. Come on. Come on. Yes. And there's also these things called lodestones, which can set your spawn point in the nether. This is the new way of getting down. You can't dig the block under you, so you have to dig. Oh, soul sand. That's good. Oh, what is this? Soul sand valley, I see. Yeah, this is the biome I was looking for earlier. Okay. So, soul sand valley, that's what this is. This is probably, arguably, the worst biome in the game because it has skeletons, and also you run super slow. Also, you can have splat blue fire if you didn't see from down there. And also, there's an abundance of these bone blocks, which are... They've always been in the game, or not always, but I think since 1.10, but... Or 11, but uh, they're a lot more common now, because you can just mine these sort of fossil things to get them. Also, so soul soil, I think, is... You don't run quite as slow in soul soil as sand. I'm just picking some up in case we ever want to make something out of it. But we already have a lot of soul sand, because that's always existed. Yeah, so, ooh, Enderman. Um, oh, there's another another fortress? Or is this the same one? Hmm. I don't think it's the same fortress. So if you light flint and steel here, you actually get blue fire. And you can actually make blue, um... There's, oh, that was close to me dying. Okay. It still burns the same, and it still never goes out as long as it's on soul sand or soul soil, but, uh, yeah, it's blue now. And also, I don't think... Oh, didn't... Never mind. So, okay, this is not a good spot to be in. I don't like being in soul sand valleys because... Okay, well, one good... These pillars here, these are actually good for something because what you can do... Oh my god, that blaze almost killed me. Okay. You can kind of sort of bridge over to them, I guess. Hello? Yeah, see the- it got lit on fire by the blaze and it's blue. You can't place- You can place- What? My god, that blaze is out for blood. Okay. You can kind of use these basalt sort of things as quick drops because it's safe to mine because, well, obvious- Not safe to do that, though. Oh my god. Mmm, stupid blaze. Alright, so sorry, it took me a while to get back here, but before that blaze brutally decided to end my whole career, I was saying that you can use these basalt pillars as kind of quick drops because it's safe, like normally it's not safe to mine the block underneath you in case it, you fall into a pit of lava or something. Is there anything down there? Oh, there is. Ugh. Can it, is it really that important? It's probably the blackstone or something, like, I actually need. Whatever, I'll, I'll go get it. Um... Is it safe to mine these? No. Okay, you can get pretty... Oh, I, my, my tools aren't ranged. Hold up. You, I had two shovels, too. But you can get you can get pretty far down. Okay, hold up. Um, am I going to survive this fall? Don't know. Let's check our coordinates so I don't have to find... It takes long to get back here next time. And if all right, please be able to survive. Oh, yes, okay, nice. Oh, yeah, there's some basalt down here. 
Wasn't there more? Didn't I have more Blackstone? I, I feel like I picked more than 64 up, but... I mean, I have most of it anyway, so oops, not a big deal, but... Uh, Alright, yeah, so Bone Blocks you can get. This is sort of the most useless biome because it's home to skeletons, which are just kind of annoying. And uh, I don't know how to get out of here now, and there's a ghast on me. So there's a few new things. There's Netherite, which you get from, what is it? You need to mine Ancient Debris, I think, and then smelt it into Netherite ingots. And no, you smelt it into Netherite pieces or something. And then you combine it with gold to make ingots. And then you use a smithing table, which actually wasn't added recently, but it's been in the game for a bit. But, uh, and you use a smithing table to combine it with diamond armor, or a diamond gear, and you get a netherite a piece of that thing. Like, say you use a sword, you get a netherite sword. If you use, oh, armor, you get netherite armor. Anyway, and it's better. Like, diamonds, netherite stuff does more damage, or it's more protective and stuff. I don't know. And it's, and it's... And it uh, destroys things faster. But anyway. Wait a minute, what? Is that nether wart? No. Uh, that's tighter than I want. What is this? It doesn't... What is this? Like, it looks like crimson something, but... Crimson roots. Is this like a sapling? But for crimson trees? Can you even grow crimson trees outside the nether? I don't know if you can. There's crimson and there's warped, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay. Oh, we're in a base alt delta. Oh no, that's just never mind. I thought that was uh I thought that was blackstone, but no. My shovel go. Oh, it's here. Okay, we have made it to new heights, which is nowhere compared to where we just were. Relative Oh, we found another another waste biome. Okay, at least I can run fast again. Oh, never mind. Um I wanna find a warped forest or something, but I don't C1. Hmm. Yeah, so these basalt pillars spawn basically everywhere. Oh, there goes my iron pickaxe. Hope I don't need to mine anything with that. And there's also a new enchantment called Soul Speed, which you probably can guess makes you run faster on Soul Sand. Soul Speed is faster than sprinting on normal blocks if you're on Soul Sand or Soil, which is cool, if you ask me. The only drawback is that I'm pretty sure it, it like destroys your armor as you're using it. Or it destroys your boots, I mean, so it's not the greatest enchant if you don't need it. But uh, it is still cool that it exists. Oh, go. I don't have my shield out. What am I doing? Um... God, so many free hits. Is it just me or do skeletons shoot faster now? Oh, there's oh, that's why there were two of them. Never mind. Yes. Okay. I've learned how to use a shield, so maybe I won't die as much from mobs anymore. But it's probably a probably an unlikely scenario. Anyway, where are more biomes? There have to be more biomes here. Oh my God, more skeletons. Oh, is it the one? There's another one down there. Whatever, we'll ignore it. Um, I hope I wrote down the coordinates to my portal because I honestly have no idea how to get back, but that's why I did the jokery before the video, before we went into the nether, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. I don't know if I can make this jump. YOLO! Okay, easy. <laughs> oh my god. There's two skeletons. Oh, he just broke my shield. No, 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 no. My shield's gone. Crap. No. How are there this many skeletons? Shouldn't they be shooting each other? Okay. Yes, hit each other. Hit each other. And yes, yeah, stand on the magma blocks. Excellent idea. Okay, I don't have a shield, which is fine, because I have the capacity to make another one. But... Okay, can actually move again, which feels good. Also, another tweak I noticed that isn't big, but when you stand, there's a new noise. Oh my God, two gas. When you stand on nether brick, there's a new noise that gets made. Or when you run on nether bricks, if I can. Oh my God, 
Gas, gas, gas. Okay. And if you're wondering what those things in the in the lava are, this is not a good place to stand. They're called striders. Basically, you can ride them if you have. I'm not exactly sure what it is. You need a saddle, but you also need something that's similar to a carrot on a stick. But it's another item. I forget what it is, but I've, I heard it once. But come on, stop being a chicken. Yes. Okay. Um. Honestly, I have no idea where you go to get out. What is a magma cube doing here? This isn't a basalt delta. Oh, oh, are we in a nether waste? Oh my god, they do damage. Yes. And unlike slimes, the little ones actually do damage and drop nothing, so they're basically just annoying. Okay. Is this another biome over here? Be nice if it was, but I don't think it is. We're kind of at a dead end. So I think that's a good place to end the video. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments, please be sure to leave me in the comment section below. Jokes for the jokery, suggestions, whatever you want. Just want to say hello, I will respond to you. So if you want to do that, feel free. And yeah, I will see you next time.